Everyone, before I get on to it, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and head over to my Patreon page to help support the channel. Right here, we have some Curly Doc seeds forming. Curly Doc seeds were used as a famine food, or if there was enough plentiful with native cultures way back. So the way that you want to use this is almost like a grain, like a regular grain, but it's small. So I'll show you one quick tip of how to do it in the field, and then I'm going to show you how at home, how to make this a little easier if you want to use it as a grain for your own food. Okay, the way that you want to do this is take a little strip and almost stick your hands. This is the way to do it in the field and crush the seeds and releasing the seeds. If you can see the seeds are small. So here's a good photo of the seeds. So after you have gotten the seeds released, the seeds are only about like two uh, millimeters in length. So they're very small, but you could use them if you get a good quantity for flour when you grind them up. So a good way is also winnowing. So you can now see the seeds just a little bit here in my hand, but that's just a small amount and most of the seeds were still in the chaff. So you need to break them right out. So uh, next I'm gonna show you at home how to get more of the seeds a little bit processing better. Okay, now we're back at the house, and, well, here's what I have harvested of the seeds. Now you just leave them like this and add them into a uh, food processor. And I'm making a mess. Whoops. Okay, you want to take this and put it on chop. So you want to grind them up. And that will release the seeds, but the seeds will not be chopped up. They're small enough that with this machine, you can't grind them into uh, flour with the uh, seed pods. Okay, not all the pods are uh, broken up. Those could be the ones that don't have fully developed seeds. So, next we're going to need to do the, like, the float test. Where the seeds will sink and all the chaff will float. So I brought you down to where you can actually see the seeds and the chaff separate. So you want to pour this right in. And use because nothing's really happening until you start pushing them down so if you stir them up you want to just stir it for a couple minutes try and get all of it wet stir stir and if you can see already there's seeds starting to sink right down on the bottom of the bowl so this is an easy way to actually get more seeds than trying to lose a lot of them right in the field. So let's look a little closer at these seeds. Now here's the seeds. Now I was only able to get about two tablespoons worth of seeds with that whole bunch. But if I worked on it a little bit more, I would be able to get more. But this is a very easy tactic of how to get many curly dock seeds fast. Now it takes just a little bit of time of going in the field and then bringing it home but you can get more of it with using a little bit some tools in the kitchen. So remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See you next time.